Hey, Theresa Mary here, how you doing? Okay, now pain isn't something that any of, any of us want to focus on. Pain is something we all like to avoid <laughs> as much as the next person. And yet there are treasures in that pain, okay? There's been a lot of my a lot of pain in my life. Things haven't always worked out the way I want them to. People have hurt me. I have hurt people. Situations have hurt me. I've made crazy, horrible mistakes. And I've tried to avoid the pain of all of this. I spent the first three decades living passively, trying to pretend I was less because when you don't own your mistakes and hurts and pain and any part of your story, you avoid the treasures within that part of your story as well. Okay, and so I didn't grow. Um, my wealth didn't grow. All kinds of internal dramas around money and love, but I refused to handle any of it, to look at the pain in the eye and to deal with it. And so I lost the treasure and it showed up physically as me losing the money. Bankruptcy ensued. Depression came for the ride as well. Okay, until I woke up and I chose to see me, to really see me, to look my pain in the eye, no matter how fiery the fire, and to learn the lessons, enjoy the treasures. You know, it's an ongoing decision to live in the fire. It's not always pleasant. No, 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 no. But I get to see myself for who I am, distilling out my message and the things that I want my life to be about, learning not to turn a blind eye to areas of my life that I don't always like, but knowing that I mustn't do that, okay? Because even in the dark places, there are treasures there. And my wealth comes from seeing me, all of me, not hiding from it. Leader, your story your past story. It is to be owned, all parts of that story, the pain and the pleasure parts of your story, because all of it makes you into the leader you're born to be. Avoiding any part of it makes you lose the treasure, and you take yourself off the fast route to wealth and instead end up on the slow path, and you get frustrated. Know this. Your mess is a part of your message, so don't avoid it. Ask spirit to give you a new perspective, an empowering perspective around all of your pain so that you can own it and accelerate your path to wealth. Because until you see the treasure in your situations, you keep going through them over and over and over again, okay? You feel stuck and unable to move forward. You go a little way and then you snap right back. Enough of that. Own every part of you, leader, okay? It's time to fight for and to deliberately design the life you were born to live because you want to. Okay, the confident creative money maker, it is here. So take advantage of the early bird special before we begin officially on Wednesday. It's a 30 day bootcamp for spirit driven entrepreneurial leaders. I will show you how to explode your income and your impact by building up your confidence and self belief. Okay. Right now, too many leaders are trapped in a cycle of not believing enough in themselves and this limits your income, their income, okay? Without confidence, you can't be creative and you'll not show up powerfully. You'll slow down your wealth. You must confidently show up in the marketplace and to do that will demand that you tap into your story, your sexuality, your spirituality, and of course, you also need strategy. All of the above four parts, everything I just mentioned, will be covered in this 30-day bootcamp. Audios will be delivered to you daily into your inbox, okay, for you to assimilate. So taking you day one... <laughs> taking you from uncertainty, okay, to being powerful, determined, and a deliberate leader, building your own six-figure business and daily impacting more of the people you choose to. So grab your seat in this boot camp now before, <laughs> before the early bird goes away. Okay, it's rosemarynonnyknight.com forward slash CCMM, confident, creative, money maker. So rosemarynonnyknight.com forward slash CCMM. We start on Wednesday. Grab your seat right now. Okay then.